water at <clears> breakfast. <throat> <clears throat> Radio Somerset. How do you feel then about no jab, no job? With me now is the acting senior national officer for social care for Unison, Gavin Edwards, and Ian Pearson, an employment lawyer for Somerset-based law firm Amicus Law Solicitors. Good morning to you both. Morning, Claire. I mean, Ian, in terms then of the law, would a no jab, no job policy actually be discriminatory? It could be. Um, I think there are probably. Uh, five categories of employee who may possibly not have a jab and those are those that um, are vaccine hesitant, um, those that are anti-vaxxers, um, those who have religious reasons for not getting jabbed, uh, those with a disability, so if you suffer from toxic or anaphylactic shock um, you may not want a jab and those of course that are too young at the moment to have a jab. For those people who um, just don't want a jab, they just don't like uh, um, needles um, or they're f frightened that Bill Gates is going to inject a, a chip into them, um, that's not going to be discrimination. But when you come to the people with a disability, um, that's a possibility. And of course, if you're bringing in a policy now which says that um, you have to have a, jo a jab before you can get a job because... There are so many young people that haven't had a jab yet, the under, under sixes haven't had a jab yet, um, they are going to be discriminated against indirectly on the grounds of age. Thank you both for your time this morning.